PrimeFlex version 3.0 has been rewritten from the ground up and while doing so we had to introduce some breaking changes. But mainly the changes are renaming of the classes. So in this video I will go through uh, some, some tips and tricks on how to easily migrate from version 2 to version 3. So PrimeFlex is a fully featured CSS YouTube library so you have a lot of things that you didn't have in the past but you also have the great you know, spacing, the form layout, like in the past. So let's check out. I, by the way, we haven't updated all the you know Prime Libraries demos to use the Prime Flex yet. So I can now use uh, Prime Flex from let's say Prime website. So let's start with the display. Display. I mean, the main thing, the main difference is the p prefix. As you can see, we had the p prefix. And now it's gone with prime flex there's no p prefix so because now it's um, you know css utility library so you will have a lot of classes on the you know in the progressive manner so it will be not easily readable to make it so we have removed the p prefix so that's something to do with the with the ids code and replace and for the display the d is also gone so for example what we had pd inline becomes just inline and pd flex pd block pd none they are just the same uh, without the pd prefix and the pd none is now hidden and the responsive versions of these are now we are using the convention smmd in excel with the column so md block will be block for uh, for tablets and bigger uh, devices and so on that was display let's check out elevation we had around 24 shadows and now we reduced them to eight let's see elevation somewhere here and again the p prefix is gone we have shadow none to shadow uh, eight Flexbox is has received the biggest changes. It's not fully backward compatible. Let's see Flexbox. We have our, our own dedicated section. For example, we have for directions P flex column. Now we have flex column. And for order, we had the P order 3. Now it is flex order 0, flex order 1. So PO order 3 becomes flex order 3. And mainly, the, for example, the uh, flex box utility is like justify content. We had the JC prefix for that. PJC between, it's now justifying content. So it's like the full name of the CSS property. Uh, the migrating, if you're, if you're using the Flexbox utilities, then you have to uh, find, go to the migration guide and find the matching classes uh, uh, from version 3. And But the rest of them are just removing the P uh, prefix. Let's see what we have. Form layout is the same. P field becomes field. Form grid becomes form grid, P grid becomes grid. So for grid and the form layout, all you need to do is just remove the P prefix. But if you were using a responsive mode, then also another thing is required. For example, here we have PSM, PMD, PLG, and PXL classes, right? Now, the main um, difference is that we are using, as I mentioned, a, a, a SM, MD, LG, and XL prefixes separated by a column. So instead of using the P dash, it becomes, you just need to add the responsive prefix. Like LG call 3 becomes 
PLG3. So once you get used to it, it's the same thing. You just need to add the responsive prefix in front of the class that you are using. Then it becomes fully responsive. Let's see if we have anything else. Uh, spacing is fully it's trivial. Instead of you know PMB PM, you just need to drop the P uh, prefix. It's one of those. And finally, text was kind of a bit trivial. We had the P text center, P text left. Let's see what we have here. Text align, text center, text just so. The main thing is that you first need to drop the P prefix. And if you are using the responsive utilities, you need to add the you know, responsive uh, keyword before separated by a column. And if you are using Flexbox utilities, you need to hit the you know, migration guide, find the total re the actual replacement and find the class name. Then hopefully once you migrate it, you will be actually, you know, you can easily take advantage of the you know, other uh, new features of the PrimeFlex. Thank you.